Hey everybody, back for Man of Medan. I have been so excited. <laughs> so you really liked Until Dawn. Mm -hmm. um, I never played it. You liked that weird VR game that made me motion sick that they made as well. Mm -hmm. um, I like their concepts. Uh, you just really love the story and the paths and stuff like that that these guys can come up with. Um, so this is going to be my first actual experience firsthand with one of these. And this is you just loving what they do. So mm. we're going to get right into this. And here we go. Great. We are playing alone. Yeah. Because we're not doing the online part. Um, because we're uh, losers. To this, to this. No, you're just like, I don't need my glasses. I don't want to get scared. No. <laughs> I just don't need them at this distance. God, these graphics. I literally thought that was my. <laughs> my. <laughs> That'd be very funny. I don't even you know where Medan is. It's in South Africa. All right, well, is it? We better mosey all back. From what I had to do for the quiz for PlayStation, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's off the coast of Africa, Asia area. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey. Give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. You're gonna die. What's in store for me, Pop? You do it, Jay. Pai. You even ma. Uh, Will I be rich? Tell me about my curious. Son. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? Your choice. Would you go for the dragon? Yes. It, it looks like a fish. Nice little tutorial mode here, actually. Quite like it. Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? What doesn't make sense there is Let me get he can understand Chinese. Doesn't speak to him in Chinese. Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. And I don't think they'd be paying with quarters. Or <clears throat> it's like the old version of the light game.
Yeah, you got a veteran here. Platinum until dawn. Did you say I thought you said you could fight? Yeah, and it's like we've not lost at all yet. the karate master now wouldn't you know it? <laughs> hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship we don't want to get stranded come on man just let me ask another question we really need to get back oh you can have all the fun you want but your friend no nope, not so much <laughs> i'm guessing this is world war II. vietnam world war ii i think i said Post World War II or something. I think if I read it right. Oh, okay. But yeah, them understanding Chinese but not speaking the Chinese to them and if they're native to China, it's like, what? Wait, what? And how are they, like, where they seem to be for those types of, like, the old man doing that? I don't think he would even understand English. Yeah. I'm sorry if you can hear rolling in the background. That would be a hamster. Yeah. I thought they were like coming on like they're drunk. They were not hey, that hey. drunk two seconds ago. Hey, where's my, where's my 50 cents? 50 cents? What 50 cents? Come on, man. Hey, buzz off. Buddy. Nobody pushes me around. This went into a very weird instant like my medical opinion. These men appear to be drunk off their rear ends. Get this one to the medical board. Throw the other in the brig. And keep him there. Alrighty. Oh, your story's Helen didn't get any better, guys. Sorry telling his brain that does. It had its moments where it was just like, what? That made no sense. Like, why would anyone do that? It's 50 cents. Well, back then, 50 cents was big. I know, but it's just like, like 20 bucks. You just got on the boat. He's had to borrow it, so he hasn't even got to his room yet. They're and drunk. They weren't that drunk when they left. What is with me and lightning today? Yeah. Guess what's in there? It's El Dorado. It's El Dorado, yeah. <laughs> Why is everyone over and around him? Confused. So Joe, we're playing as Joe. Joe. So I read every single playable character can die. Every character you play can die in a way. Okay, cool. I'm good with that. Oh, we got shiny lockers. I was gonna Surprised say you didn't jump to that. Uh, I was gonna say there's your fifty cents. <laughs> Can I steal your pen? Stay. Yeah, wow. So he's must have been a doctor that was looking after you. 
I love how they showed the book, but like the book doesn't show any. Yeah. Okay. Well, he was so you were just knocked out by the sergeant or whatever for being a pansy, mm -hmm. and then they were hovering over you trying to show you a picture of your kid. If it was your kid and not a picture of the other guy. Oh. Two pops come back soon. Okay. Um. So this happened within the night, just one night and he's I'm guessing well I'm guessing that this is talking about what happened to the ship because later on you are oh, diving you're diving trying to try and the find ship. the yeah. shipwreck oh and they Why locked are we also padlocked in yeah and then he crammed himself because the only person that could have padlocked it in was the guy that crammed himself in mm. there Ooh, these fun angles again. Ooh. That? That, mm. that was pretty cool. Well, oh, I can't get back to that angle. But that was... There we go. Like, that there looks like the shadowing and everything at points. It's like a real... Yeah. That good... Yeah. It's, 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 the graphics in this... Is that blood? Where? Look, on the floor. Is that just blood? What, the whole floor? No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Then why they'd have a red floor? I think they just do because if it gets water. Mm. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? Heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. I'm I'm trying. Press X in time with the heartbeat. Oh. So I guess you'll see. Okay, you have to press X in time with your own heart. Sister Sergeant. With a gun. Can you just go, hey, Sarge? Gonna blow his brains out. This is a new one. So obviously, like last time, it was like you had to try and hold the controller, controller steady skill. Called. I guess they just had issues with people not being or, or just table. put it on the table. Yeah. Oh, we're just gonna follow him then. least I tried. Pretty muscly though. Well, I mean, he's in, he's in the Navy. Navy. Yeah, yeah, he's... You gotta be ripped. Oh wait, can I go the other way? No. Yeah, the, the lighting in this and everything is spectacular. <laughs> You're not getting jump scared, man. It's because they're not that good jump scares yet. They like to think they're masters of horror, but they're not. Sorry, I'm a bit of a skeptic when it comes to a lot of yeah. Western horror. Hey, Charlie, help! <laughs> Fuck no! Yeah, you said it. Foo bar and that song. Could we have went the other way to chase the girl? Or the kid? I guess not anymore. I guess but... not anymore, but it all depends, yeah. So what I always hate about things like that, you're like, hmm. Open-ended journeys. For some reason, Escape from Monkey Island popped in my head, and like a re super realistic Escape from Monkey Island would be amazing. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. 
He has the claw. Yeah, he's been playing too many arcade games. <laughs> I gotta go this way. Okay, I thought that was like me down there. I was like, wait, what? I love how they always made it as like something's watching you. I want to walk faster. Ooh. Objective, find out what happened to the crew. Altruistic. Oh, right. This, this is, is his, his traits. Yeah. Are. Okay. Okay. All so right. he's a bit brash. But he's, he's loyal. Okay. That's locked. See, here they could literally do some subtle things of just things so, move. Uh, is it just me? You're getting a real strange feeling right now. Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> getting a strange feeling right now. You just saw your comrades go insane and die. Good company. Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? See, I would have found that more trippy if they didn't bring attention to it and it just kind of happened. And you either caught it or you didn't. Charlie, get over here! Oh shit. Cutscene town now. He's seeing his kid, I guess. It is like the El Dorado Mist though, it just makes them insane. Well, it was what it was in El Dorado. Oh god, no! Charlie! It's a little bit of audio. If you get a chance to shoot it, shoot it. Ah, uh, hell yeah. It's gonna be his buddy. Oh yeah, don't shoot. Or maybe his buddy thought it was something else. I think that's good for his character, though. He wouldn't be able to kill his kid. That's very true. You wouldn't. You just wouldn't. Well, like to even, be fair, these guys are going to die anyways. No yeah, what. it doesn't matter. They're going to be dead. But I think if you were confronted with your own kid, like even zombie or not, you, you probably wouldn't be able to pull the trigger. No. Not if it was just like all of a sudden yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's not going to help you in this instant. Ah! 
the lifeboat was like, no, I have to save your life. <laughs> I'm a lifeboat. <laughs> so did this just start to sink? No, I think they, some of it is underneath and they find it like kind of like the ghost ship. Oh, just floating above. Yeah. Dale! Dale! This is so dark. Won't you spare me over till another They chose a better song than what they did in Until Dawn. Yeah, yeah. I recognize oh this band. They always have to do a girl with her hair and what? Because they recognize Eastern horror as superior. <laughs> Sounds like Five Finger Death Punch. can't Shazam it right now, so <laughs> it'll probably see somewhere in the credits, so. Just one of their slower songs. Right, chemist. Hello. Hi. Hello. And welcome to my repository. Is that some sort of toilet? No, it's a library. Ah. Like den library. Repository. Pretty sure you got some electricity, but. It's bad to read in Candlewood. I mean, yeah, considering the 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 stories. <laughs> stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to kind of opened it like you choose to tell. Yeah. Halfway through. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still. None of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take recognize matter. Him. The choices mm. you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye definitely on your got progress. It's not, not my the lip movement's fear, better. I might be persuaded to offer well, it's been like how many years? Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Buddy, watch me make a mess. So this time he's directly addressing us, 
instead of it being like a psychiatrist in the previous one. It was direct, directly us, the player. And this game I can imagine on um, like a 4K HDR TV. My goodness. But no, we're 1080p standard. <laughs> Brad! Duke of Milan in French Polynesia. Wow, he's uh, he's up there. Mm. Or oh, the Duke of he Milan. Owns a, he, he owns okay. Duke of Milan. Okay. Julia's boyfriend, Brad's brother. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water, diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. It's embarrassing, I guess. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? Well, you can't quite see oh, right, little flicks from the mocam sometimes. Oh, really? Yeah. Would be stressful, you know? Interesting. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. So, we're, we're getting along. We're bros. Hey. My word, that looked so real. Uh, can I get your input on that does not. Yeah, what? Still yeah, skin textures are not too... Still, still can't get feet. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Finish med school. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. It's good advice. It's good advice. Still can't quite get your teeth right. Hey, Conrad. That's known as Bobby! Mr. Freeze. From X Men. Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. Connie? <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady Killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Really? I like they gave her like a tan yeah, line. Know, oh yeah, they have. Yeah, they've got our little bra yeah, tan line uh, thing going like on. Yeah. Hey man, want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with. Gonna crack a cold one? I guess he's sick. Like, yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I I love beer. <laughs> We're so socially awkward. Yep. <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? No, no, just... Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. I'm gonna be gentle. Uh... <laughs> 
Let's just say, do not lie about that because that's gonna get us in a whole hit of trouble. Mm -hmm. Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Captain of the Duke of Milan. That is not a tire. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh... so is everybody on board and ready to go? I mean, I'm just saying, denim and water just never mix. Uh, no. You're selling. I'm buying. Oh. Man, that's just wasted that good beer. Well, that's also very like health and safety. So you're like a, a captain, and you're not gonna go over health and safety before you take these people out. Ow. To top on board, get it going. Yeah. Yep. That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. See those hot pits. So we're playing as Alex right now. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Optimistic. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Got trust in your brothers. Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh. Technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, Who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, so they're sisters. Bro. That brother and sister. They're dating. They're brother and sister. Yep. Brother, brother. Mm -hmm. Yes, family. Oh, we've got a shiny at the front. I guess we can talk to her. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Let's go talk to Brad. He, we can, we can at least tell him that he was right and we found the wreck. You know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Uh, turn it back on then. I can't. Okay. <laughs> huh. What am I looking at here? Uh oh. I don't recognize who that was. That was Brad. Was that Brad? So he was. I don't Being sick in the bathroom, I think. Yeah. What's up? How you doing? Oh, he was sick in Sorry, the bathroom. Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Uh, yeah, don't hey, worry. all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Took more than that just to script the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Well, I was gonna tell him about the. Um...
there a dead body? I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. So why are we picking up this random stuff? Investigating. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Guess. Why would that be locked? Yeah, why would that be locked? Just want to go to the toilet. Alright, let's see what she's got to say. Oh. We'll see to what? You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, sorry about early. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules, and laws, and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? I don't know, actually. I would say you can I've say. I've a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol oh, you have to follow. Some glitching going on there. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Uh, just, just say nothing. Just say nothing. No, no, top one. Guys, you know already. Thanks a lot. I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Uh, that's fair. Okay. Don't touch anything. Just look. Something about that rock formation there, yeah. It keeps wanting us to look at. Okie dokie. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all yes, that I know. That you a place with Nautica. ...to the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. Stated made here. with aerogel. Okay. <laughs> and fish. Check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver. You gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Oh, hey, guys. What? Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain. Uh, I don't know what they are. Flashlight. Flashlight. Take flashlight. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Oh, right, camera. Kids. Good to go. I don't know what that other thing was. Oh, oh, you can take it. You can take it still. I got the bang stick. Oh, I heard that about you. Ha ha. A bang you stick. Ever one? On a shark? Nope. Oh, it's a it's a prodder.
When did we get the headgear on? Well, he was oh. talking. But we took the sharp prod, though. Yeah, oh. good. Yeah. More or less. Don't make us control underwater. Please don't. It's hard enough in fucking freaking Subnautica. Yeah, just guide us and we make some choice. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell it. No. Anymore. No, we play it safe. This is obviously from World War II. People died. No. No. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. I don't want to have to swim. <laughs> Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. I need to focus. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least. As much as I like that actor, and the person he's playing is a bit of a so, I think that's the point. I know. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. Ah, uh, resentful. I built this business from scratch. I took out a loan on my boat, and that's all the help I need. Thanks. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. I'd maybe check it though, it beeped at us. I guess yeah, because his face turned it off. Clear. Uh, between 8 and midnight we've got some thunderstorms though. Okay, keep that. Nope. Let's go check on our uh, seafaring sick boy. God, the, the textures on these though. My goodness. What does she see? A boat. Nothing. She's just, just a boat. Goodness. That's some rendering. That's crazy. Our room's open now. Nope, can't get it. Okay. Well, let's go check on uh the toilet's open now? Ah, but there's a picture! There is a picture. What does she see here? Why do I keep these around? She's like, every time I look into them, I keep seeing these really weird things. Why do I even keep them? It's like a. It looks like a. It looks like a, look, look, like oh, a one man. Her bedroom, one yeah. man cot, yeah. You're not gonna check him. What's his face? She wouldn't snip. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Concerned. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Are you close with your brother? Known him my whole life. <laughs> Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Ask things and then go, nah, I'm good. Couple of drawers there. We are investigative types. We're like, ooh, shiny. 
we're actually we're magpies in that regard. What we got here? Miss Dubois. Oh. Sorry. Let's, let's give that another read, shall we? What is it saying? This is a letter of formal notification that you are in default of your obligation to make regular payments on your loan. The loan holds a remainder of 24000 with a sum of 3000 payable for 1st of August. Ooh, she is not being able to make. So if she doesn't get the money, she's going to lose the boat. Ugh, some weird... Yeah, I don't know whether it's like it's it's meant to be like that or whether it's. I think it's still some graphical mm. glitches. It's it's so hyper realistic that I guess something's hurt. Hey there, how's it hanging? Relaxed. You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? You don't want to get romantically involved in him, amused. <laughs> nice one. How long you been cooking that one up? All afternoon. Good use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. All right. Well, she's not looked at the dive yet. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. I thought I'd be able to like see them. Okay. No, I guess they're still images. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Well, that's not a good sign. Uh-oh. What's that about? Uh, that's not the Coast Guard. That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Be quiet and let me handle it. Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? He would just put his foot in it. I'm worried. You gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water! Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man, it's not a problem. What do you think, like, uh, ten bucks cover it? <laughs> Whoops, we my bad, let's make it make twenty. told you to shut up. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. You're an idiot. You're an absolute idiot. You're just showing these completely mm. random people that you have tons of money. We told him to Like, you had no... Why was there no thing there to be like, shut up, or like... Yeah, there's no reason to interject. There was nothing to say, hey, like, what are you doing? If that was meant to be from the war, there's no way there'd still be. And water has a, well, water does have a way of keeping some things. It's a skeleton. How is it being held together? Well, he's in a suit. He's in, the, he's in his suit. How does the head con Oh, yeah, connect? true. The head shouldn't be connected anymore. The turret. Get in through there. It's a tight fit. You got some sharp implements in there. Does not look safe. Oh, careful. 
Yeah, you Asians. can move that. Uh, Where Juliana? I guess so. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. Okay, so I have a heart attack. Did you just say? I think that was part of the movie scene. Oh, okay. I don't think that was. Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. Yeah. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? No, don't, don't do it. Um, maybe it's kind of dangerous. Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Yeah, there's a spiky thing at the end, and yeah, that's just not smart. Touch something. Bullet holes all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. Back out, back out, don't, no, no, you don't, you don't touch it, you just don't touch it. No. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Like, personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be touching it, I'd be like, nope. I wouldn't be doing this. Why did you just drop it? There's so much anthropologically incorrect. No, that's the wrong word. Every time. Do you people don't understand how skulls work? How your muscles hold everything together? Whoa, whoa. Ooh, Mr. Eel. My wetsuit. Life gives you lemons. It's wet my wetsuit. <laughs> Again, jump scares, man. They just, they're not working. To be fair, that one got me a little. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. The plane crashed not high on my list of ways to perish. They have their gun in their hand. And shot right through the head. Okay. No! <laughs> no, that would have been washed away. Like, the head, anyway. That would have floated up by now. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's a bad idea. You turn- No! You turn the prop of the plane, you're gonna flip this thing. Oh. Oh. Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch anything else, please! Oh. You touched the dead body! <laughs> Alright, let's, let's just All right, get- Alright, I can touch the body feeling. No, let's just get out of here. Discovered staff. We've looked at staff. We've got some bullets to Yo, take back to Brad. He's still following me. Well, he's looking at something. Or are we still to investigate something in there? Oh, that's that dude. You don't defile the bodies. Don't touch the bodies. Don't touch the butt. There's nothing here. Further? No. 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 Just head back. I'm sure he'll follow once he thinks that you're not doing anything. Okay. 
Uh, well, will he, though? Well, if they don't put this into the matter of fact of people's choice... That had nothing to do with me. Oh, so that's when they hit the thing. Yeah. I am not at the front. I'm at the back. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, there's that picture. It's a good job we didn't risk it. Oh god, Alex! It's a Grey Reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. You're the one who used the prodder on the uh, freaking nowhere. Oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't. I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? Yes. Oh. You're shitting me, right? What? <laughs> like there's a hidden camera down here or something? Uh. Okay, come out, guys. The gig is up. Julia, I'm serious. I don't know why you chose that decision. Damn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> like it's hard to make that decision as a player because it's like I don't know what your relationship's like. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Yes, this is really. She should have been like, this is Miss Bubba. I guess we never actually, um. Probably should have checked the radio well, equipment. They're not on the Julia, boat! We gotta decompress it. I wonder if we, if we had checked. Whoa! Damn! Told you. Mm. We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Uh. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. They are. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! Hey! Striking up a barbecue. Yeah. What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's alright now. Made the right choice. There was a little, uh, mishap. With the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What's up with the other boat? So, why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. They got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. All right, all right. <laughs> think of my uh choices bro <laughs> intrepid adventurers then <laughs> alex and his little brother brad trying to swim with the big fish both seem out of their depth and julia the love of alex's life and he the love of hers what about conrad a bold fellow you might say or maybe you'd say arrogant. Yes. Mm. As Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Boo! 
Dude, look at him out. So, we'll cut it off with that statement. Mm -hmm. And this is fun. Um, really enjoying this. Mm -hmm. um, as much as the start was a bit jarring, I get it was there just for a bit of... Like, backstory. A bit history. of backstory, a bit of like, hey, this is how it plays mm -hmm. type thing. So, whatever. This is actually playing out pretty good. Um, and so, yeah. If you like this episode, drop us a like, hit a subscribe so you can get to the next episode, which are we hopefully following in the next day or so, depending on when we get this up. Uh, things are taking a turn for the longer. Um, but yeah, we will see you on the next episode. Where Fraser will get to do all the decisions this time. Well, I get to do all the decisions next time? Yep. Yes! <laughs> Who will screw this game up more, him or me? <laughs>